Hey friends, it's Ifa and I'm happy to see you here. I'm very excited to share my first painful letter today. I'm sending the letter to my friend Ishika from our journals on Instagram. I met her on Instagram about a year ago. We both live in the same city and we're fond of BTS. She shares her K-pop journal spreads on Instagram and they're so beautiful. So I thought it would be great if I sent her a theme that related to BTS. I wrote this letter about a month ago on 4th June, but it was ranked 1 on the Billboard Hot 100. So I came up with a butterfly theme. I had this orange border pad at home and printed out the haters and a melted butter logo. In addition, I'll use this yellow petal washi tape which I was gifted by the washi tape shop a while ago. Let's start decorating my first pencil letter. I found this font named Lobster which is similar to the Bada logo. For the base, I am using the grade washi tape and a Tombow Dual Brush Pen in shade 942. I am using a glue stick to stick my cutouts but it's very messy. <laughs> ok, my video is gonna be very messy too. You'll see it later. For the little melted butter, I took a screenshot from the logo video on YouTube. The logo of videos were faded so I overdrew it with a yellow crayola marker and I didn't use the lighter shade anywhere that I showed you before. Oh, and I used my design Oakland washi tape here. It's matching with my theme, right? <laughs> I don't know. I'm spacing out a section for the questions I want to ask Ishika, so I printed out a header using that font. You'll find this font anywhere on the internet. I wanted to use these petals and made a flower out of it as this space was looking a little empty. But I didn't like it after drying the leaf. I'm writing the letter off camera and blurring it out because I think it's better to keep it personal. I'm making a folder to keep the letter and the extras together. I saw this idea on a video of Heather from Mochi Bujo and thought it would be nice if I make one for my pencil too. Also it was great because I made my envelope with a normal printed paper. I couldn't find the perfect size because of the lockdown here in June, so I made mine a simple and personalized envelope. This folder held and protected the letter perfectly. I used this thin A4 color paper for the folder and cut out the excess so that it can be inserted in the envelope. I made a pocket and a strip for holding the letter in the middle section. It's not perfect and could have been better. I used another paper for the other pockets.
I really wanted to send her my designed Onkon washi tape set which I designed for the washi tape shop. I used this thin card to secure the washi tape in place. If I wanna put this card like this it won't fit in my envelope so I decided to fold it. I didn't put a lot of pressure while cutting it so that it can be folded easily and Ishika can keep all of them together and use it from there too. For decorating the envelope, I am using the same header and black grid washi tape. I am leaving empty spaces a lot here as I don't know where the post office will add the stamps but I add some minimal decoration in the corner. I am adding a sticker from my friend Julia's sticker shop, some kind words. And I am done with my envelope. It looks very minimal and simple right? Ishika already got this letter and she said she loved this theme and my letter. I felt relieved. That's for today's video and it was quite messy I know. <laughs> Thanks for sticking with me to the very end. See you in the next video. Bye.